Day two of the Athens Women's Football Summit is here. A warm welcome to wherever around the world you are tuning in from. Adriano Del Monte here and one of the co-founders of this brilliant summit, Marios Christos Fantos. Marios, good morning to you over there in New York. How are you doing today? Good morning. Kalimera, kaloa poyevma, depending on where you are. Guten Abend. Uh, another rainy day in New York, but we're all full of great energy because we have an incredible day ahead of us. Nice and sunny here in Milan, where I'm based, Mario. So I'll lend a bit over your way. But look, another big day in store. We'll get into what's to come shortly. But as expected, a positive start day one yesterday with a very interesting panel and a conversation that we'll go through shortly. But a couple of key takeaways just as we look back on what was an eventful day one. And just get your thoughts initially on... Uh, Alessandro, who made an interesting comment to me in this welcome show yesterday morning regarding the time being now to invest in the women's game. Let's get straight into that. Just your thoughts on on the timing and everything behind that. Well, that is an incredible point, and it's very very important to re-emphasize the theme of this summit, which is that women's football is serious business, an incredible economic and investment opportunity. And one point he made, uh, and which was echoed in different parts of, of yesterday, was that now is the time that to invest in the women's game, now where the return on investment is spectacular. And as time goes on, uh, you'll see that everything is going to go up, All the because the, the game is growing in leaps and bounds. More people are watching, more people are playing, more people are consuming than ever before. So uh, that was a very powerful point that right now we see companies, despite the economic crisis, the big companies are coming to, to the NWSL, to, to the FAWSL over in England, uh, companies like uh, Google and Verizon and Budweiser and so many uh, great companies, which, you know, Procter and Gamble and Secret Deodorant and Barclays, it would, it, Visa, uh, it's, it's an incredible time. Now is the time to invest. There's a great economic opportunity. And, and again, the return on investment is spectacular at this point. No doubt about that. And that's why we're very excited to be involved uh, here. And obviously, year two of what we hope will be a very long, long time together, growing and building the, the women's game all together right around the world. Now, there was a very interesting panel that kicked things off yesterday. My co-host, mm -hmm. Sean, who isn't with us just yet, but she had a, a trail of legends with her, it's safe to say, and many key takeaways from Emil Heskey, Carolina Morace, and Gilberto Silva. Just when we talk about investments in the women's game, Gilberto Silva made an interesting point regarding equal pay between right. men and women, but also talk is one thing, action right. is another. Just how important is that at this stage of, of the development of the women's game? That's super important. I mean, we see, for example, that there are companies like uh, Nova, uh, that for the second straight year is the media sponsor of the Athens Women's Football Summit. Um, they have uh, committed to the women's game and they've done incredible work. And uh, tomorrow we're going to have Caterina Cascagnotti, their uh, pay TV executive director, um, on our media and broadcasting uh, panel, which is at 11.15 um, a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. And she'll talk about um, how, how, why covering women's football is, is so important, but but it's, listen, there's a, a lot of people are talking about it. Uh, it's in the news, everyone's excited about it. But as Gilberto Silva said, it's one thing uh, for different federations, like the English Federation, now the Brazilian Federation, others um, to be saying that we're going to pay and support our, our, our great female athletes equally to the men. And it's another thing for that to translate into action. Right. Uh, you know, we're talking not only about equal pay, but equal bonuses, equal prize money, equal facilities, equal marketing, equal support, equal everything. And uh, that's why, you know, you, you see it. Um, it's still more limited than than you'd think. Like, for example, later on today, we're going to have Lewis FC joining us um, through Maggie Murphy, their their. Uh, general manager in the last panel of the day, which we'll get to later when we give everyone the schedule. Um, uh, there in 2017, they committed to equality between their men's and their women's teams. All right. Their motto is Equality FC. So the thing is that we need to see um, that, that the money is actually being dedicated to the infrastructure that's needed at the grassroots, to the academies, um, to the communities, and to the, and to the teams throughout the system. 
Very well said, Marios. As Sean joins us, Sean, good afternoon to you. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Hi, Adriano. Hi, Marius. The second Hello. day, I'm pretty excited. How is everyone? Absolutely. Happy to have from you. Very well. Good to see you. The, good to see you too. Very nicely done. Yes, a great job with the, the trio of legends we were just discussing. Mm -hmm. Just some of your key takeaways, Sean, from what was a, a great way to kickstart the 2020 Athens Women's Football Summit. First of all, it was an amazing session and I definitely enjoyed it. You know, just having the three legends, first of all, that was very humbling and just learning so much from them and their passion for women's football. And uh, some of the takeaway points, we we'll have to start definitely with Emil Heskey's point where he talked about, you know, the, the, the first thing to think about when it comes to women's football and when it comes to the upcoming rising talent is how to create a safe environment for these girls to know, you know, to go for practice, to get themselves involved in the game. So first of all, just creating that safe environment, which is very key, which is very important. And I think that is a very good step to start from. Yes, Marius, you are also watching. What did you think about that? No, it was, it was incredible what, what we heard uh, from all those three legends. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, Carolina Morace, one of the very best coaches in the world. What a legend. Um, yes. and, and Emil, we're, we're so excited about his new responsibilities at, uh, at Leicester City Football Club. Um, you know, something that goes far beyond just their professional team, but but reaches to the whole community and affects the whole nation. So I, absolutely, I think they, they each of them brought out very powerful points and each of them showed how they are truly committed to the healthy growth of the women's game, the long-term growth. Mm -hmm. And it's so important when we see just great personalities, great players like Emil Heskey and uh, the, the legendary Gilberto Silva, and of course, Carolina Moracha, who, who mm -hmm. last year was the recipient of our first ever Athens Women's Football Summit Award, um, to, sharing with us their unique experiences, their passion, their dedication um, to the beautiful game as played by girls and women around the world. Yes, amazing. And also, Adriano, just to add on that, I remember Karina talking about another important key point, which is about leadership. You know, when it comes to any sport, the sports governance part is very important and very key. And she was talking about that leadership part where, you know, it's time to trust even women with top leadership positions and also create specific positions in, you know, in these organizations. Let's say, for example, FIFA, where you can have also a female director who definitely understands the game and can actually promote the game. Adriano. No doubt about that. That was certainly an interesting point to discuss, Carolina, discussing the significance of having women in these key positions to better understand the needs of women involved in the game. So, look, we could discuss that in depth, but we do have <laughs> yes. an exciting day ahead as well. And we've got four different conversations to look forward to today. So let's have a look at what is to come here in day two. We'll get things underway this morning with women leaders in the beautiful game. Susie moderating that one with Tatiana and Ebru, a, a wonderful way to kickstart the day there, you can see the local times, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Central European time. So a nice way to, to kick things off. That will then be followed by a conversation with Karina LeBlanc. Marios, I know you're very excited for this one. <laughs> Carmelina will be having a one-on-one -on -one with uh, Karina LeBlanc, of course, the head of women's football at CONCACAF. Just goes to show how wonderful and powerful this network is already and really excited to see what Karina and Carmelina will be discussing there. Following that, Glenn will be moderating the clubs driving the growth of women's football, Elise and Ariane joining him. And uh, after that, we'll conclude the day, a very busy day, with Dr. Donna Dehan taking the equality in the football industry panel. Khalida Maggie Murphy there, who Marius touched on earlier, and Sarah joining uh, what, is, what is a very busy day, and I'm sure we'll have plenty to recap mm -hmm. here in the welcome show tomorrow. But Marius, you mentioned a couple of those key partners and and. Key yes. figures that we are working with here to, to drive the growth in the game. So plenty to look forward to here on day two. That's absolutely true. And and uh, just there on that last graphic, again, Lewis FC, uh, we mentioned earlier, the first club in the world to dedicate equal resources 
to their men's and their women's teams. And it'll be fantastic to hear from Maggie because what has happened is um, that has elevated the club as a whole, has elevated the whole community and has actually brought success, showing how when you invest in the women's game, you get success, okay? Also, uh, Kalita Bhopal, uh, she's, uh, uh, I don't have to give much of an introduction about her. The whole world knows and loves her. We're very pleased to be partnering with her and her um, uh, girl power organization. Uh, so thank you, Kalita. That's that's very exciting. Sarah Dwyer Schick, uh, we saw her briefly on the screen there. She's the founder of the Sports Brawl Project. She'll be able to tell us a little bit about that the powerful work done there. And just so people understand, you know, it's another barrier to uh, to include to girls and women being able to play the game they love when they don't have the proper equipment. Something as simple as that can be another barrier to, that keeps women and girls from playing the sport they love. And, and of course, listen, it's um, when we, we also saw Dr. Uh, Donna DeHaan there, um, a professor at the Hague University of Applied Sciences, uh, a wonderful strategic partner of ours um, who provides us with our interns. And uh, we're very happy, one of them, uh, Robin Broza, who's who's behind the scenes helping us out here. Another former student of theirs is Emma Brown. She's also helping us today. Uh, it's very, uh, these are the types of organizations committed to the women's game and, and the promotion of equality, uh, inclusion, and diversity. Yes, amazing. And also just to add on that, I know it will be also pretty excited to host Alisa Lahu. I know I've already talked to her, uh, the general manager at Sky Blue FC. So it's very exciting of, also for what she's doing uh, for the ladies. You know, when, when she, last time I talked to her, it was about, you know, bring that uh, inclusion, you know, the diversity and all that. So I'll also be excited. Uh, looking forward to that interview, Adriano. Marios, tell us a little more, Karina LeBlanc. It's a, it's a big conversation to come. Uh, yes. Such a key figure, a powerful figure in the women's game, across, across football, not only the women's game. How important is this and what are we looking forward to in her conversation? We're incredibly excited to have Karina LeBlanc with us and also Carmelina Moscato, a great player, um, a bronze medal w uh, winner at the Olympics, as was Karina. Um, just an, a, a very powerful, dynamic conversation by two great leaders, two great women, uh, fantastic athletes. Now, Karina uh, not only is beloved around the world for her incredible integrity, her charisma, um, her, her ideas as a thought leader, as a leader in every way of the women's game at every level. But now uh, CONCACAF has, has wonderfully entrusted her with growing the women's game in 41 federations that encompass uh, the, the North America, Central America, and the Caribbean. That's an incredible responsibility, but there's no one better in the world to do that. Uh, Karina has dedicated her life to the women's game. She has endless energy. Uh, despite being a new mother right now of a beautiful child. And, and she is, is just has been spectacular throughout, a true leader for the game globally. So we're very privileged uh, to have CONCACAF with us and, and have Karina uh, telling us about her life, her experiences, and how they empower her to, to do the incredible work that she's doing every single day. No doubt, I'm sure everyone's very excited, looking forward to that. Of course, we will be here each and every day recapping what has taken place the day prior and looking ahead to what's to come that day. We are nearing the end of this welcome program today, guys, but just, Marius, particularly what's to come in the next few days. Again, we've had a look today, but mm -hmm. Karina is one we're looking forward to. What else is ahead in the you know, coming days on the Athens Women's Football Summit. You know, what, what, uh, what amazing uh, stakeholders from, from the game, from, the, from business, from not-for-profits, from the whole spectrum of, of women's football are going to be with us. Um, we mentioned yesterday that the great Michelle Akers is going to be with us on Friday, uh, a female player of the century, uh, twice winner of the uh, World Cup. Uh, so many, so many great accomplishments, and she'll be interviewed on Friday by the legendary JP De La Camera, who was the uh, TV commentator in 15 World Cups. So that that's something exciting. We have, uh, we mentioned before that we have Elise LeHue from Sky Blue uh, with us today. But over the next few days, we will also have um, from uh, Houston Dash uh, the, the the wonderful. Uh, James Clarkson, their, their coach that has really uh, turned that into a powerhouse team 
um, for for many the best team in NWSL, maybe in the world, where um, he they just recently won the NWSL Challenge Cup under very difficult circumstances. Of course, we have their their CMO. Uh, Katie uh, Sarantaka Scallon uh, with us. She'll be talking uh, about marketing and branding. We're going to have their vice president, uh, Zach Emmons, uh, talking to us uh, about uh, media and broadcasting. We're going to have Caterina Cascagnotti from Nova also on that same panel. Uh, as I mentioned her earlier, the dynamic uh, pay, uh, pay TV executive director for Nova. And she'll have some powerful story to tell us about how now the Greek women's national team after our summit last year, it, their home and away games are being broadcast live on Greek television and how those exceptional players are now showcased. They're highlighted on their different shows and shows brought, made specifically for the women's game. So I would leave out too many great people coming up. Uh, Carolina Moracha is going to be with us also again. Um, it's, it's uh, I, you know, Shannon McMillan, the legend uh, of the U.S. women's national team. Ariana Hinks today, two-time uh, German World Cup winner, four-time European champion from Wolfsburg. Uh, we're also going to have with us John Fette, uh, who is uh, a, one of the top directors uh, for uh, partnerships at Wolfsburg. The list goes on and on, and it would be a shame for me to leave people out. So please, everyone, remember that everything is being shown on Facebook, live it's been showed on twitter live we're actually putting on mm -hmm. uh after we're afterwards everything onto youtube in case you miss it and you need to go back and see it and please go to our website of uh, www.athenswfs.com for the full schedule we are very happy to have you all with us perfectly summarized marios Amazing. big week ahead big few days ahead we are getting the nod now that we do need to wrap up. So that's us. Women's football is serious business. The Athens Women's Football Summit is serious business. And we're looking forward to a very big day too. Sean, Marios, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Adriano. We'll do it again tomorrow ahead of day three. Enjoy the day, everyone. Enjoy your viewing, everyone.